Okay. <laughs> it's under your breath. Oh, damn, baby. Let me be direct. My son Kali is of the age to earn his wings, yet he is weak in some ways, and in the light, in the light of the current situation, he may give up on getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? Maybe. No. I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible, so that we may better help with yours. I have something I wish to give you, to give to my son. A young girl named Medley was holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I'm counting on you. Great. What is it? I got a delivery bag. A finely crafted bag like this are used by Rito Postman everywhere. With so many pockets, it can hold many items. Select it on the item screen, press Y, Z, X to see what you can have inside. <laughs> Alright, great. You gotta find this chick. This bird girl. Okay. I think this is the highest the rooms go. This is like... Postman shop, shop man. It'll look female. Whatever female looks like to these guys. Hey, look, there it is. Wow, you really do have green clothes and strange shaped hat. You're Warren, aren't you? Oh, me. I'm intended to the great sky spirit, Baloo. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not intended quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is for the chieftain. He wants you to give this directly to Prince Komali. Bam. Her father's letter. Since you just received a fine delivery bag, why don't you use it to carry the letter down to Komali? When you want to take it out, choose the delivery bag. Blah, whatever. Okay, yeah, I know. The room, way in the back, is the first floor in Prince Komali's room. You have to go down a couple of steps to get there. When you meet the print, when you meet Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manner. He's not, he has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um, I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. Of Dragon Roost Cavern? Wait, what the fuck? You had a cavern here? What? When was this? Um, on top of the world yep. so she said in the back so this must be the first holy balls oh oh my god jeez oh 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 dear what the fuck is this what the fuck is this I'm going back no more uh uh <laughs> nope I'm good, thank you. Yep. So is this his room? <laughs> or is this gonna be is this gonna bring me to hell again? Hmm, huh? you don't look princely. You are not Prince Man. Von Princeton. And neither do you. Oh my. Hmm, what is that up there? Ooh, like a claw shot or something. I can do like a Spider Man swing on it. It's awesome. That's cool. Jump down. Okay, maybe this is his room. Uh, it's one of the only rooms I can go through. Yeah, this seems like. This seems like it's his room. Alright, let's open this door and give him a letter. Hey boy! I got a letter for you. Free of charge. What the fuck is he doing? Oh. What browns? Joy pendant? Oh, that's a spoils bag. 
Oh, okay, yeah. Hey, boy. Got you a letter. Don't show it to me! Boy, show it to him! Damn it. Hey, that's the Zoru. Is it the Zoru symbol? A letter from my father? No, it's like one of the spirit symbols. Oh, sure, telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go and get his scale from Valu. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What, are you trying to say that you can calm Valu down? Psst. That's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say that you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what, if you can find him, find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Great. Looks like I'm gonna have fun. So, the cave. Something about a cave. Dragon Roost cave? That chick wants me to go and... <laughs> Quite literally, that chick wants me to go see her there. Hmm. Is this the entrance? Oh my. Oh my. It's so ashy. It's so assy. Oh god damn it. And all these little plants of death <laughs> are dead. Bomb plants, bob bomb plants, whatever you want to call them. So okay. That I think I think that was the uh the entrance though. So unless she meant somewhere else. God damn it, woman. Tell me where this place is. I won't hurt you. Oh, okay. And now she disappeared. And maybe she's out here? No. She's not back there. Where could she possibly be? Hmm. Hey, bitch! Fuck are you? Maybe she's over here somewhere. Nope. That was that was that. That didn't work out too well. No, grab it. Boy, I said grab. There we go. Wait, is that the is that red mark where I'm supposed to go? I can't see too well. Oh no, that's my boat. That's my boot. Where the fuck is this chick? Come on, little chicky chicky. Where the fuck are you? Before I stab you in the throat with a chicken needle. Don't ask me how. It just happens. Oh shit. That was an accident, I swear. Dragon Roost Cave. Hmm. I mean, I already got that thing over there. So, and she's she's not there. So then, where the fuck is she? Then. I should I Ish. 
Ich weiß nicht. Wo sie ist. Maybe I'll just jump down to this place. There we go. Hey, what the fuck? This isn't the entrance to anything, you stupid bitch. Ah, hey, you actually came. I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need to help desperately. Ah, uh, you see this place? There used to be a beautiful spring here. It was peaceful and lovely, but the great Valu became angry and, oh, his rage shook the mountain and the boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Mmm, results. Tell me, how is Prince Kumali? A dick. Oh, that doesn't sound right. No, not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn the Prince Kamali's taken. See, his grandmother was uh, the Great Valu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with the Great Valu. Not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I'd possessed some of her strength, I'm sure P P P Kamali would have uh, not fucked up. Orin, I'm sorry to ask you this, but I need your help. I want you to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost. But that's, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So will you help me? Sure. Whatever. Pick me up. I wonder. Hmm. Hang about. Wait a second. How do we do the thing again? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, there we go. Wins the record room. Okay. Up, back, forward. Up, back, forward. Up. Up. Back. Forward. Maybe we can get some wind going. Yeah. That direction, baby. In that direction. Okay, so we pick her up. Oop. No, I'm fine. <laughs> that didn't really hurt. What was this? Oh, yeah, once more. With the wind, toss away, please. Lift. Do you even lift, bro? Ah, hang about. We can get some air here. Yeah, with the wind blowing this way. Throw her. There we go. Now fix this damn bridge, bitch. I think I'll be able to climb the Dragon Roost and meet the Great Valu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I'm just an apprentice attendant, but I can't I can understand some of the Great Valu's language. Not exactly bursting with confidence, but look, if anything happens to me, <coughs> please look after Pro Prince Komali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. A bomb bag? Give me a bomb bag. Bombs. Nope, I got an empty bottle. Yay. Great for carrying water and other things. Way to be specific, game.